Hello, NUR391 students. My name is Jana Alexander, and I am a registered nurse who is currently pursuing my Doctor of Nursing Practice degree at Arizona State University. I want to share with your course an integral part of cultural nursing care, Dr. Leninger and her theory of cultural nursing care diversity and universality, as well as the concept of transcultural nursing. There is no doubt that empathy and caring are significant to the nursing profession, but what exactly is the neuroscience behind compassion? The right supermarginal gyrus of the human brain is responsible for empathy and compassion and autocorrects for a perceived lack of empathy, according to Thalen et al. 2020. During this presentation, I would like for you to keep in mind that we have the capacity to utilize this specific part of our brain to provide culturally competent care. I hope that this presentation helps you gain a better understanding of transcultural nursing and how you can best incorporate these concepts into your own nursing practice. Culturally diverse care is the optimal mode of healthcare delivery. It refers to culturally appropriate care that incorporates an individual's cultural values, beliefs, practices, as well as sensitivity to the individual's environment. Dr. Leninger, a groundbreaking theorist, saw the need for culturally diverse care and worked tirelessly to incorporate these concepts into a professional nursing model. So let's start with a little background on this important theorist who established a new standard for nursing care. While working with adults on medical surgical units, Dr. Madeline Leninger realized that the concept of human caring was the essence of nursing. After World War II, she worked as a clinical specialist in child mental health and realized the importance of culture. These children immigrants were from culturally diverse backgrounds, and she noticed behavioral differences that she thought might be due to cultural care differences. Dr. Leninger believed that children had essential human growth and development needs and began to develop her nursing theory based on caring and culture. Dr. Leninger noted that nurses did not know how to deal with different cultures, and this cultural stress impacted nurses and patients and their families. Cultural misunderstandings resulted in inappropriate treatments and interventions, which could be prevented with culturally competent care. Now that we have some background on Dr. Leninger's reason to pursue these cultural concepts, we will define some major concepts of transcultural nursing. Culture is defined as learned and shared values of a group that influences or enables a person to deal with illness or death. Diversity refers to differences in meanings, values, or care among different groups of people. Universality refers to common care or similar care among cultures. Cultural care is diverse and universal. Dr. Leninger distinguished between emic and etic perspectives of culture, which we must discuss before we dig deeper into the theory of culture care diversity. Emic refers to an insider's views and knowledge of the culture, whereas etic means the outsider's viewpoints of the culture and reflects the usual role of nurses who do not belong to the individual's culture. There are some underlying assumptions that we need to address. First, Dr. Leninger highlighted that care is essential for health and well-being, healing, growth, survival, and facing illness and death. Second, nursing's central purpose is to serve human beings in health, illness, and death. Third, nursing is transcultural, humanistic, and scientific care discipline, and profession with the central purpose of serving human beings worldwide. Additionally, caring is essential to curing and healing. There can be no curing without caring. And lastly, cultural-based nursing care enhances the well-being of clients. There are many more assumptions that this model makes, but we are focusing on cultural care. Transcultural nursing, developed by Dr. Madeline Leninger, recognizes the values of incorporating cultural values, tradition, and practices into healthcare treatments. She recognized that health and illness states are influenced strongly by culture and thereby formulated a theory of transcultural nursing and declared that care is and should be the essence of nursing. In 1991, she published Cultural Care Diversity and Universality, a theory of nursing. Her theory created a specific nursing discipline, transcultural nursing. In 1988, the Transcultural Nursing Society initiated a certification examination for nurses who wanted to be credentialed as a certified transcultural nurse, CTN. 
Dr. Leninger defined transcultural nursing as a legitimate and formal area of study, research, and practice focused on culturally based care, values, and practices to help cultures and subcultures maintain or regain their health and face difficulties or death in a culturally congruent and beneficial caring way. There are several significant reasons as to why transcultural nursing is essential to healthcare. Consider the marked increase in the migration of people within and between countries worldwide. There also has been a rise in multicultural identities, with people wanting and expecting their cultural beliefs, values, and life ways to be understood and respected by nurses and other healthcare providers. Furthermore, the increased use of healthcare technology may conflict with the cultural values of clients. Lawsuits have resulted from cultural conflict, negligence, ignorance, and imposition of healthcare practices. Additionally, there is an increased number of people traveling and working in many different parts of the world. Finally, consider the increased demand for community and cultural based healthcare services in diverse environmental contexts. There are many ways in which transcultural nursing affect healthcare and patient outcomes. By having nurses understand the concepts of transcultural care, we may meet the challenges that nurses face in providing individualized and holistic care to all patients, regardless of backgrounds. This theoretical framework helps nurses recognize and appreciate cultural differences in healthcare values, beliefs, and customs. Additionally, the theory establishes cultural competency as the norm in healthcare, which is very important in meeting future needs. Culturally competent nursing care helps to ensure patient satisfaction, improves patient outcomes, and decreases bioethical conflicts. The model is based on the concept of cultural care and highlights three major nursing modalities to achieve culturally congruent care. These three modalities are cultural care preservation or maintenance, cultural care accommodation or negotiation, and cultural care repatterning or reconstructing. Note that this model symbolizes the rising of the sun. The upper half of the circle depicts components of the social structure and worldview factors that influence care and health through language and environment. These factors influence folk care, nursing care, and professional systems, which are represented by the lower half of the model. The two halves together form a full sun, which represents the universe that nurses must consider in regard to human care and health. The nursing care subsystem acts as a guide to culturally congruent care through three types of nursing care modalities, preservation, accommodation, and repatterning. Preservation and maintenance refer to the choices that maintain and preserve desirable and helpful values and beliefs. An example of this modality would be to encourage direct care, such as bathing, feeding, and other activities of daily living by family members interested in actively contributing to the care of a loved one. Negotiation and accommodation are helpful in the adaptation and transaction of care to fit the culture of individuals, families, or groups. An example is when a nurse teaches an Indian patient that although turmeric may help decrease inflammation, he still needs to take an anti-inflammatory medication as prescribed. Lastly, repatterning or restructuring involves working with the individual in a mutual decision-making process as the nurse modifies or changes the nursing action to achieve better health outcomes. An example of repatterning is when an elderly female patient does not want to set up an advanced directive because they believe that death is up to God. The nurse can educate the patient about how their wishes can be followed if they are no longer capable of making decisions or speaking for themselves explaining that by creating advanced directives, their wishes will be followed and these directives can help the patient gain more confidence in the process. Each of the discussed modes can be seen daily in nursing care. As nurses become more and more in tune with the numerous cultural differences that exist in the world. Instead of focusing on one illness or injury, Nurses are learning to take a holistic approach and are focusing on how patients perceive their illness or injury, their beliefs about the healing process, and their environments and support systems, which allows nurses to provide enhanced and more patient-centered care. In this presentation, we learned about just some of Dr. Madeline Leninger's contributions to nursing theory and practice. 
such as the Sunrise model of transcultural nursing theory. There are various assumptions made in the theory of cultural care diversity and universality. These concepts will be important for you to consider as you move forward in your nursing careers. Because culturally appropriate care has the power to impact patient outcomes significantly, I hope you use this knowledge to grow as nurses, and most importantly, as compassionate and empathetic human beings. While the right supermarginal gyrus of your brain does its part, practice implementing what you have learned here today. Thank you for your time, and I sincerely hope that you now have a better understanding of transcultural nursing and how this nursing specialty supports culturally competent nursing care. This last slide of the presentation is a reference page for your review. If you would like to read more on the topic, you can use any of these citations to further engage in Dr. Linninger and her nursing theory.